welcome to the passage the exam question videos. In this video we're going to cover this exam question which comes from the 2002 paper and it's question number 20 and it is worth four marks. So in a second I'll read the, out the actual question. Once I've read the question you have about five seconds to pause the video. Once you pause the video attempt the question and when you're ready press play. I've got some marking guidelines and I've got a sample answer which we'll go over after you have finished the, your attempt at the question itself. So when you're ready pause the video because first I'll actually read the question. It says Outline how mitosis and cell differentiation assist in the maintenance of health. And that's worth four marks. So when you're ready, pause the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. So the top point or the question says outline, which more or less means we need to provide features of how mitosis and cell differentiation. So you need to have talked about both cytosis, mitosis and cell differentiation. So how does to basically help us to maintain health. And the marking guidelines say to get four full marks, so four marks out of four, you should provide the main features, because the outline means the main features, of the ways in which mitosis and cell differentiation help to maintain health are provided. So in this case it says main way in which mitosis and cell differentiation help maintain health, but it'd be good to mention basically everything, anything that you know about mitosis and cell differentiation that answers that question. So for example, mitosis, we know that mitosis is important when it comes to growth because to grow we have to divide our cells and that happens from mitosis and also to repair damaged or dying cells. Damaged or dying cells are replaced by mitosis so that's what mitosis does and both of these are essential for health, right? uh, for normal fun well-being and then for differentiation. Now, remember that was the idea where we have one cell going into a stem cell dividing or differentiating into different type of cells, for example stem cell becoming a red blood cell or a nervous cell. Right? So we go from stem cell to all other body cells and this happens a lot especially when we're really young in the womb, so in, in our mother's womb and a bit afterwards as well. Without these stem cells, we wouldn't have white blood cells, red blood cells, nervous cells, and obviously all of these are really important when it comes to function of the human body. So that's more or less what we will be discussing. You know, you need to talk about how mitosis, what mitosis is, and how it helps us when it comes to our health and our normal function, and what differentiation is, and how it helps us to function properly. So what I wrote is first I talked about mitosis. So mitosis is the asexual reproduction of our body cells. So mitosis is basically how our body cells uh, reproduce, or at least mitosis when we're talking about mitosis in terms of us. We need mitosis to replace the dead or damaged cells that we rely on for all of our bodily functions, right? So we have millions of cells dying on a daily basis. If we don't replace those cells, then our body will not function properly. And um, some cells are no longer replaced at an old age, and that is that and that is one contributor to ill health. I might have had a bad grammar here, but basically some cells are no longer replaced at an old age and is that is one contributor to ill health experience at this age. So it's just an example, right? It's always good to give an example if you have one ready. So people of old age often just suffer more and one of the reasons why is because they have less, less cells because some of their cells aren't dividing anymore. Now mitosis is also essential for growth to occur and growth obviously is also important for health. So this will be how mitosis would be and that obviously that would get you the half of your marks and the other half would be from the cell differenti differentiation. So talking about cell differentiation. So first we'll be defining it or talking about what it is. Cell differentiation is required for cell specialization to occur. Remember specialization that was that one cell has a certain function. Before it has to have that function it needs to have the structure and cell differentiation gives, gives it a structure and then specialization gives it the function. But without and differentiation, we can't give it the function. So first differentiation happens, then specialization occurs. And this happens when stem cells differentiate, so change into all these different types of cells our body needs, for example, white blood cells, bone cells, nervous cells, etc., etc. So we need so that's what happens when it comes to cell differentiation. We've got these these stem cells and differentiating the different types of cells. But why do we need that? Well, without cell differentiation, we would not be able to sustain our multicellular and complex body, right? Because we have so much that we need to happen. We need to have oxygen being delivered to our cells. We need to have a, a, a immune system. So we need to have all these different types of cells. 
and that's where cell differentiation initially comes into play. This is basically that it, so you would get, if you've given just a bit of brief, a brief description, you would have probably gotten one mark out of four, at uh, one mark for this and one mark for this, given a pretty detailed description, ideally with an example, it would have been two for each of these, which makes, makes four out of four all up. And where that question come from, it came from this dot point, outline how the functions of genes, mitosis, and cell differentiation and specialization assist in the maintenance of health. So again, this question basically that shows only two of the four are listed here, but the rest of it is exactly the same. So it came straight from this little dot point. But hopefully that was useful.